Hi. Um, if you don't know me, my name's Terry Stratton. I'm a director on the Bazaar team. Um, and I just wanted to go live and talk to you guys. Can you hear me? Okay. If you couldn't hear me before, sometimes my volume is weird. Um, I just wanted to go live and talk to you guys a little bit about some of the things that are going on with Facebook and super duper affecting our virtual shows. Um, little disclaimer, none of this is fact checked, okay? Um, so I understand if you are watching this and you get on and you're like, well that's not happening to me or, um, you know, I don't even know what you would say, but this is just other MLM uh, folks getting together and brainstorming. You know, Facebook isn't admitting to any of this. Smart, smart Facebook. And so um, we're just kind of trying to figure this out, okay? So everybody's in the same boat and we're just all kind of brainstorming. But I wanted you guys to hear some of the things that I have heard as well because you know if they are true then we can all be helping each other out so um there's obviously been some changes going uh, i'm sure many of you have noticed business is booming and then all of a sudden bam and this isn't just summer bam this is people with notifications turned on are not seeing anything right in our groups in our events in everything everybody is feeling it across the board pampered chef and all other direct sales marketing groups are feeling this um okay facebook is not out to get us maybe a little bit but for the most part they're listening to their customer base um these customers who are saying they don't want to be sold to I'm a direct sales consultant and I don't want to be sold to, you know, I, I get that. And if you are trying to have a virtual business, part-time, full-time, um, these are your customers too. Okay. So we need to be listening to that fact as well. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we do 90% of everything socializing running our businesses, marketing, everything. Just contacting people through Facebook Messenger. Everything is done through Facebook. Sharing everything is done through Facebook. We hardly ever check our email anymore. How many times do you text versus use Facebook Messenger? It's just part of how things are right now. Um, so our word of the day is adapt. This is nothing new, folks, this word. But the transition sucks. <laughs> just be real. Um, unfortunately, this adapting is just part of our business. Whether you do virtual businessing, businessing, or whether you do live only, um, virtual, we all eventually are going to be into virtual businessing. I like that word. Uh, because that's just the way of the world. So we, we have to be able to adapt with it. And um, every business has to. So um, what is Facebook doing and what can we do to, to adapt? Every person's groups, all of your groups, all of your events, all of your pages are all connected on Facebook. Okay, so that means one inactivity, you know, inactivity on one place is going to affect all of the others. So let's say you do a lot of online business on Facebook, but you don't really ever post on your personal page. That's going to hurt you. Um, and yes, you have a score. You have a score, like a credit score on Facebook. And there's no way for you to know what that score is. And there's, you know, no way for you to look at it to learn how to improve. It's dumb, but that's what it is. 
if you you are an entity on Facebook and everything that you're connected to everything all of, if you have a VIP if you have a business page if you run groups um, and you're an admin in groups then that's connected to you as a person and if you have a personal page it's connected to you as a person so um, if Facebook sees or thinks they see that nobody wants to see you then they're gonna you know connect that to all of your other stuff so what do you do if you are going to have a business page post at least every other day at least every other day um, if you are going to have a VIP group post every day it doesn't even matter what it is really I mean it does it does matter we'll talk about content in a little bit um, but just do something um, and make posts on your personal timeline. I don't know if you guys have noticed this on your news feeds. I have a lot of uh, direct sales friends, and you probably do too. We're just in this business together, and a lot of people are getting into direct sales because it's awesome. And using Facebook to do it. So everyone is finding out about these changes that Facebook's making, and they're all going to their personal pages, and they're starting to post this dumb stuff. <laughs> I think it's tough. To just try and boost their scores. All this stuff about, tell me about your day using only emojis or post your favorite GIF in the comments, you know, whatever. They're just trying to boost their score. And for now, it's working. Um, but we'll talk, again, we'll talk a little bit more about content in, in a second. But good activity on your personal timeline is extremely positive to um, towards your Facebook score and it's gonna help your groups as well um, like your VIP and, and things like that I don't exactly know how everything's working with events groups business pages and and all of that I'm sure it's all different um, algorithms affecting each one and I I'm sorry I don't know exactly what's hurting and helping each and every one of those different things but we're just going to assume everything is the same, okay? Another thing Facebook's doing is flagging particular words in your text bodies. Um, Facebook, or I'm sorry, non-Facebook links also are being flagged. So words like share, comment, like, um, I, heard, I even heard that free is one of them. These are all words that we use a ton, right? We use them all the time. And they're all words that may possibly keep a post from showing up in news feeds or in notifications. Um, like I said, links to sites that lead you outside of Facebook are uh, things that may possibly keep a post from uh, from being being seen. Uh, okay, so what can you do? Post the link in the comments rather than in the text body. You can put those flagged words in um, in the images rather than in um, in the text body. So you can say in your in your image, comment below, or please like and share this, or if I get to a hundred likes I will do a drawing put that in your image rather than in your text body okay um, and none of these uh, you know offerings <laughs> it, none of these suggestions have been tested they're not tried and true we're just brainstorming here okay guys um, all right there's an order apparently that Facebook will push posts you know more likely um, they will push live video first they will push an image with text next they will push a video link third and then text hardly ever unless maybe you have a really good Facebook score or it's a random thing you know that's this is just what I'm hearing but our bottom line here is that engagement is everything. And that is nothing new. This is, that is 
has been our issue from day one, okay? So that is nothing new. Engagement is everything. They're just making it um, harder, maybe, to get engagement with some of the things we are typically posting um, as salespeople, right? So um, if, if customers aren't engaging and interacting with your posts, then Facebook is not gonna show them your stuff. It's not gonna show people your stuff. Uh, and they have to be liking, commenting, sh and sharing your posts. Uh, which, you know, is kind of ridiculous when, you know, because they can't do that if they're not seeing your stuff. So, whatever, Facebook. Um, but, you know, we just, we just have to figure it out, okay? You can boost, boost posts. Um, that helps too. That's paying for it though. So on your business pages or your, I think you can even boast on a boost on a VIP. I'm not sure. But if your VIP is connected to your business page, then you can just boost on your business page and it will help your VIP group. Um, okay, moving on. All right, content. Okay, content is kind of everything. I mean, it's not and it is. People don't want to see a sales pitch. They, there, it's too much everywhere. Um, it's the same thing with like commercials on TV. That's why we have Netflix now. That is how TV has adapted. They've gone around the commercial thing. Um, you know, paying to not have advertisements splashed at you. People do that. <laughs> they do that because they don't want to see it. So how can we, um, how can we adapt to that? They want, what do they want? They want to be nosy and they want to learn more about you. You have to become, at least on your virtual self, somebody that they want to follow, that they want, when they see a post of yours, they're like, oh, hey, they're going to add, you know, valuable content to my life, so I'm going to go and stalk them. You want to be stalked <laughs> on Facebook. Um, they, you know, like I said, they want something that's going to add value to their life. So, fortunately for Pampered Chef, you know, we're not like a makeup company where we don't have a target audience. Do you realize that? Everyone eats and more than likely everyone is going to have to cook for themselves or someone else at some point in their lives. So we have value that we can offer to people. Um, you know, my husband has shown me things on Facebook that he's, he does not cook, but he shows me, the cook, things that he sees on Facebook, okay? So, um, we need to make sure that we are posting things and that are going to add value to people's lives, add value to what they are doing in their diet, in their kitchen, um, and and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, this is not new stuff. It's what we should have always been doing. Um, and you know what? It's easier than making a sales pitch. Just talking about what you're using your Pampered Chef for. And you don't even have to say the words Pampered Chef if you're posting on your personal timeline. Honestly, avoid posting salesy stuff on your personal timeline. People will stop following you. They don't want to see it. Claudia has a great, um, a great way to, to do this on her personal timeline. She's got an, a photo album. Uh, it does not say anything about Pampered Chef. It just says.